Cześć, witajcie. Niedawno z ciekawości ściągnąłem IF Online. Chciałbym poznać fenomen tej gry. Dodatkowo bardzo lubię gry kosmiczne, więc myślę, że będzie mi się grało przyjemnie. Ale co w niej jest takiego, że tysiące ludzi muci w to naprawdę zapamiętale? Nie wiem, przekonajmy się. Zapraszam do oglądania. Dobrze. Konto mam założone. Właśnie taki mały tutaj dygresja co do zakładania konta. Podobno opłaca się założyć konto z kodu znajomego. Są jakieś tam bonusy. No, przekonamy się. Stwórzmy sobie uba. Nie mam kompletnie pojęcia, jakie frakcje mają, jakie bonusy, jakie profity i tak dalej. Będziemy grali na czuja, tak jak mówię, gram pierwszy raz, no chwileczkę odpaliłem sobie wcześniej z ciekawości hmm. zobaczyć, czy w ogóle będę w stanie w to grać. No, koniec końców wciągnęło mnie troszkę, więc stwierdziłem, że nagramy poradnik jak przeżyć w EVE Online, albo jak zginąć, zobaczymy. Mamy kilka korporacji, imperiów w sumie. Dobrze, Amar. Nasze potężne imperium jest zbudowane na wierze w kreatora. Dobrze, że nie kreaturę. I lojalności do tronu. Jakoś nie widzi mi się to. Kaldari. U nas... Kaldarii, bogactwo i siłę zdobywa się tylko dzięki lojalności do korporacji. Czyli już wiemy, że korporacje będą nas poniewierać. Galente. Federacja i jest beacon. Zabawne jest to, jak znając znaczenie mm. słowa, czasem ciężko je przełożyć na polski. No, uciekło mi teraz polskie słowo. Wyznacznikiem demokracji w chaosie Nowego Edenu. Że co? Min Matar. Uwolnimy wszystkich naszych ludzi z kajdanów niewolnictwa. Walczyć o cokolwiek mniej, to zdrada Republiki. W sumie nie wiem. No dobrze, dajmy galentę. Demokracja raczej do niczego dobrego nie prowadzi, ale... Jakoś chyba z tych wszystkich ustroi naj najbardziej mi właśnie ten pasuje. Wybierz pochodzenie galentę. No dobrze, co tu mamy? Stwórzmy kolesiowi twarz. O nie, 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 nie. Włosy. jak na grę, gdzie tak naprawdę nie widzimy naszej postaci, tylko głównie jej statek. To jest całkiem sporo możliwości kustomizacji tej postaci. Nie no, dajmy mu jakieś włosy, bo mu zimno w łeb będzie.
Znajem życie, zaraz stworzę jakiegoś szereka 8. Niech będzie wkurzony. Da ci się głowę odwrócić? Nie. Dobra, uszu ci ruszać nie będę. Dobrze, nie będziemy tutaj dużo kombinować, mówię i tak. Postać nad wyraz rzadko chyba pojawia się w grze, więc i tak nie będę musiał go zbyt często oglądać. Ciuchy. Zewnętrzne. Nie mogę się przyzwyczaić, że tu przybliżanie, oddalanie jest w drugą stronę. To nawet nie wiem, co to jest. Nie chcę tego. Dobra, zrobimy szwarc charaktera. Ma czarne portki. Jak pilot, to niech ma oficerki, co nie? O nie, to, to jest zło. To jest bardzo, bardzo złe. O, o, cicho, są inne. Dobra, niech ma jakieś brylki, co by go słońce nie oślepiało, ewentualnie wybuch jego statków. Wybierz edukację. Uniwersytet. Centrum zaawansowanych studiów. I marynarka chyba wojenna. Name. Tutaj na szczęście problemu nie ma. I wbijmy do gry. Zobaczmy, z czym to się je. New Eden. A universe brimming with possibility and rife with adventure. Only the most intrepid capsuleers can conquer its many wonders. Do you have what it takes to become one with a machine? To explore the far reaches of space, carving out a name for yourself among the stars. To become a titan of industry, amassing wealth, power, and prestige as you rise above your rivals. Or to prove your worth in combat, cementing new alliances and vanquishing your foes on your path to glory. For the rare few, immortality awaits. With Air's Capsuleer training program, you become the architect of your own destiny.
Greetings, Captain. I am Aura, your AI companion. I am here to help you find your way through New Eden. Welcome to the first day of your new life as a Capsuleer. I am now transferring your pod into a ship, provided by air as part of your Capsuleer. Captain, this cloning facility was attacked before your capsule could be inserted into a ship. I initiated our evacuation sequence before we reached the hangar to avoid certain death. No need to thank me. This baptism by fire is certainly not what Air had planned for your first day in a pod. Rest assured, I am here to help. I'm unable to identify our attackers, but they are not currently targeting our capsule. This gives us time to locate a ship. Your pod may be able to fly through space, but, like all capsules, it is unarmed. A proper ship comes with proper weaponry. We must scan the debris for a space-worthy vessel. Now, let's get a better look at our surroundings. Ah, there is a ship still capable of flight. An Astero, no less. A fine ship indeed. I have highlighted the navigation section of your display. Use it to approach the ship. Board the Astero now. Our shields took significant damage in the attack. The armor is also in need of repair. I believe the appropriate idiom for this situation is, we're screwed. <laughs> Fortunately, the cavalry has arrived. Ships bearing air transponders are approaching our location. Alan Ferris, Commander of Air Security. All ships evacuating this cloning facility are advised to rendezvous at emergency coordinates. Several thousand civilians appear to have survived the attack. Let us make haste and join the fleet Commander Ferris is organizing. Captain, your vessel looks like it's seen better days. I'll repair you once you're in range. Commander Ferris, were you able to determine the identity of our attackers? Negative aura. Their transponders were cloaked and their hulls lacked any identifying information. I'd wager this was an act of corporate espionage turned violent. There are a lot of people in New Eden who want to get their hands on Air's technology, whatever the cost. Thanks to Commander Ferris's repairs, our ship is almost as good as new. At his command, we will proceed to the emergency coordinates. All ships enter warp formation. Trochę mi 
tu brakuje możliwości sterowania samemu. Jest to raczej point and click, ale może faktycznie byłoby tego za dużo. Zresztą nie wiem jak tu jest w momencie kiedy są większe floty, czy, czy możemy zarządzać równocześnie kilkoma statkami. We've now arrived at Air's designated emergency evacuation zone. We'll be safe here while we regroup. Jeżeli tak, no ciężko by było pilotować kilka statków równocześnie. Escort well chosen. This location's cosmic abnormalities will mask our warp signatures from detection. But our appreciation of New Eden's natural wonders will have to wait. Captain, I could use your help. My sensors are picking up a strange signal nearby, but my forces are stretched thin defending the civilian fleet. The cosmic storm likes to play with our sensors, so it could be nothing. But after that attack, I'm not taking any chances. Szybka, dynamiczna gra. Raczej taka na, na spokojnie przy piwku sobie usiąść czy kawce i poklikać na, na, nawet na leżąco. Initiating scan of unidentified signal. Przynajmniej z początku rozumiem. Captain, hostiles inbound. We have to defend those unarmed civilian transports. All ships equipped for combat form up around me. My sensors indicate that these are the same ships that attacked the cloning facility. Several frigates are breaking away from the pack. They're targeting those civilian ships. Far away, Captain. Thankfully, our ship is equipped with a module that will boost our speed. ship incoming. A cruiser this time. It's larger and better armed than those frigates. What an exhilarating way to test your combat abilities. To ensure success, we must lock our target.
potential. Shit. Two battleships breaking away from the enemy fleet. They're stopping the last civilian transport from moving away. Watch your six, Captain. They're bigger and badder than anything you've fought before. Captain, we can use electronic countermeasures, ECM, to break the battleship's lock on the civilian transport. Doing so means the battleship will be able to target only one thing. Us. What? There is no other way to save those civilians. They are not captives like you. Their deaths will be final. Yours will be a learning experience. We'll do what we can to keep the other hostiles off your back, Captain. Focus on your target. Once we deploy the ECM, the battleship will begin firing upon us. Remember... That's it! The final group of civilians has escaped. You've done good, Captain. We're taking heavy fire, Commander Ferris. Once our ship is destroyed, the pod will soon follow. According to my calculations, our destruction is 99.99% certain. Welcome back to the world of the living, Captain. I hope your death was not too uncomfortable. Your neural data has been transferred to a fresh clone body. But before you stretch your new legs, someone very important would like to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Vesper Calatrix, Air's Vice President of Operations. Commander Ferris spoke highly of your courage under fire. You went out with quite the bang. Since your ship was destroyed in a blaze of glory, Air would like to provide you with a new one. I will enable your station services panel so that you may board the ship provided to you by Air. Try not to blow this one up so quickly, gimme, gimme, gimme. but if you do, you can acquire a new Corvette at any station. Your next adventure will hopefully prove less explosive. We have a lead on who attacked the cloning facility, and we want you to follow up on it. Considering your recent experience, you're the perfect pilot for the job. I've sent you a module that will help you on the next leg of your journey. Conquer the stars with air. Taki. Join our capsule training program. Taki trochę ble, nie? Captain you can access objects currently stored at the station at which you are docked from your item hanger. Now, let's take a look at the module Miss Calatrix has given us. A mining laser upgrade. A curious choice, Miss Calatrix. How will a mining module help our investigation? One of our agents in the field has intercepted a strange signal at one of our mining sites, but we're having trouble locating its source. We want you to investigate the signal, but if we're being watched, and I suspect we are, we don't want anyone to know we're onto them. You'll look just like another member of the mining fleet. Fuck. Julie noted this Captain. Captain, you can fit the module to your ship by accessing the fitting window from the Neocom. 
Let's fetch your new module in a free slot. Uh -huh. Now, bring the module online. It appears you do not currently possess the skill necessary to use this module. Hardly surprising, you still have much to learn. Please direct your attention to the icon on the display. You can add the missing skill to your training queue here. Now, access the skill window from the Neocon. Skills are essential for all capsuleers in New Eden as they serve as the primary measurement of one's growth. A more highly skilled pilot will be most formidable indeed. Training a new skill takes time, as the neural pathways of your brain are rewired. The complexity of this rewiring can be measured through skill points. You have enough unallocated skill points to train the required skill. Do so now. Now, all you have to do is confirm Maybe. that you wish to use those skill points. The training required for your new module is complete. Your skill queue is now empty. I should point out that you can train skills while doing other things. It's a good strategy to always have something training. I guarantee other capsuleers will be doing just that. We wouldn't want you to fall behind your peers, would we? To that end, I've sent the air skill plan to your AI. Normally, you would have received it as part of your capsular training program starter package, but your training was violently disrupted, to say the least. Miss Calatrix's advice is sound. You should always have a skill in training. Let's start with this new one, and may it be the first of many. The more skills you acquire, the stronger you'll be. As you continue to grow as a capsuleer, you can adjust your skill acquisition to achieve your desired goals. Now, close the windows crowding your screen. It would be rather comical if you fail to see a threat hurtling right towards us. Because of... Let us online your mining laser upgrade. Now that you have the necessary skill to use it. You can do this... Turn the module online. Well done, Captain. You can now close the fitting window. Innovation. Independence. Looks like you're ready to roll, Captain. Our agent will rendezvous with you at the mining site. Keep your eyes open and watch your six. This is New Eden, after all. You never know what danger is lurking around the next Stargate. Miss Calatrix is right. Time is of the essence. I suspect something nefarious might be occurring at the air mining site. Undock from the station, so we can begin our journey there. Site. According to my calculations, the probability that the situation is unrelated to the attack on the cloning facility is exceptionally small. One in 37 million to be exact. Let us make haste and walk to the site immediately. Orb drive active. W sumie muszę przyznać, że wszystko jest w miarę logicznie na razie wytłumaczone, no ale to są podstawy, ale słyszałem, że gra no jest strasznie rozbudowana, więc zobaczymy jak to będzie na dalszych etapach. O, 
widzę. Dużo kamlotów. Further speculation will have to wait. We're being hailed by that orca. You must be the fresh meat Vesper told me to expect. Elias Pelton's a name, mining's a game. But you're not just here to mine, are you? We're here to assist in any way we can with locating the source of the unusual signal you've intercepted. Unusual is one way of putting it. Pain in my ass is another. The signal's bouncing around these asteroids like a feto hopped up on a bad booster. Can't get a lock on its source with all these rocks in the way. Miss Calatrix has outfitted us with a mining laser upgrade that should clear several of those rocks away. Good old Vesper, always ten steps ahead. Now, let's put that bad boy to use. Best way to blend in is by getting your hands dirty with the crew. Some miners fly solo, but a project this big isn't exactly a one-man show. Sometimes the only way to get shit done is with a fleet. I bet this is the first time you mined with a crew. No offense or anything, you've just got that shiny new pod smell on you. Follow my lead? If your competence matches your confidence, we are in good hands indeed, Mr. Peltonen. Captain, let's approach the asteroid. Please, call me Elias. Mr. Pelton and makes me feel like an old man. My old man, specifically. Miserable son of a bitch. Just about spat in my face when I left his crusty old Caldari corp to make my own way. Sincerest apologies, Elias. Our first name basis shall commence immediately. Good. I like to keep things informal here. It keeps morale up. This crew's full of people like me, following the siren song of sweet, sweet independence. Doesn't hurt that the money is good, too. Captain, we're now within range of the asteroid. We should stop here. Here we are. You ready to rock? Get it? Rock? Just a sprinkle of mining humor for you. Lock onto that asteroid, Captain. Now is the time to activate your minor module, Captain. The length of the modules I... There's something spectacular about a fresh asteroid, isn't there? Play your cards right and that giant hunk of rock becomes a giant pile of riches. You can view your very own pile of rocks, as Elias puts it, in your cargo hold. It's actually ore, not rocks. But I assume Elias is... It might not look like much, but that's not just a pile of ore. It's a pile of possibilities. You can sell it, refine it, trade it. The... Tak po siedem jednostek wydobywając to tak trochę czasu mi to zajmie, nie? The asteroid is depleted. Harvesting resources is one of the best ways to earn money in New Eden. And if you're gonna make it as a capsuleer, the one thing you gotta know is that money is king. Hell, with enough isk, you'll be able to buy yourself a sweet ride like that venture over there. That's one down. And now, on to the next. Follow me, Captain, and stick close. This asteroid field can be a bitch to navigate. Muszę przyznać, że kosmos jest całkiem fajnie zrobiony. Tak samo jak zanikanie yy, asteroid, tak? które, które już wydobyliśmy do cna. Nie wiem, czy mój komp tutaj nie domaga. A 
ale momentami mam małe przycinki. Mam nadzieję, że na filmie nie będzie tego widać. We're now close enough to target the asteroid. Once it's targeted, lock on. Just like that last asteroid. Once you've got your target. Looks like you're a natural at this. Keep it up and Vesper will be offering you my job soon. Elias, are there any words of wisdom you find particularly valuable for new miners? Oh man, where to start? First off, you got to know the difference between raw ore and refined minerals. What we're doing right now is mining ore in its raw state. For someone just learning the ropes, selling that ore is the quickest way to make isk. But you can also reprocess ore into minerals. Take Tritanium, for example. You can't find that stuff in the wild. You've got to get your hands on some raw ore, like Feldspar, and then refine it into Tritanium. You can sell those minerals or use them to build your own ships or equipment. You can find refineries at most stations. Experienced miners get way more efficient yields from their ore. So that's something you can work towards. The asteroid is depleted. Another asteroid successfully depleted. We better close in on that rock then. Zrobiłem to, czy nie? Przepraszam was, od czasu do czasu będę gruźlikował, mnie trochę chorubsko dusi. Ale postaram się to robić z dala od mikro. Is exceptionally strong in this location. Let's stop the ship here. The signal appears to be emanating from the center of this asteroid. Target the asteroid and then lock onto it. You can break this baby apart using your civilian miner. Just like that. We can whittle away at this asteroid without damaging whatever's broadcasting that signal. appears to be that wrecked frigate. This particular model is a Dramiel. Well, we're not going to get any solid answers all the way over here. It bears a striking resemblance to Let's the ships in. that attacked the cloning facility. Let's prepare to take a closer look. is strongest in the vicinity of the Dramiel's cargo hold. I 
I do love the feeling of striking gold. Go and grab whatever it is. It appears to be a black box. A device designed to survive the destruction of the vessel carrying it. Such boxes can be used to record vital flight data, but also to store valuable items. That's nice and all, but can you open it? Negative, Elias. Captain, the box is protected by multiple layers of encryption. While it's theoretically possible to hack into such a container, you will need significantly more training in that skill before attempting such a feat. Don't think it's safe to crack it open here anyway. Where there's smoke, there's fire. One scout ship might mean they got friends lurking nearby. If we could trace that signal, so could someone else. Better get the box and whatever's in it back. Elias is correct, Captain. The box may contain the answers we need to discover why those unidentified ships attacked the cloning facility. And why one was spying on this mining site. I don't want you out there alone. I'll send some of my best pilots back with you. Safety in numbers and all that. Wisely stated, Elias. Well-armed company will be most welcome. I do what I can. If someone went to the trouble of protecting whatever's in that box, it must be something valuable. Well, I bet whoever sent that scout ship will be real salty that we got our hands on it. Stay sharp, Captain. Let's dock at the station. I'm certain Vespa is more than eager to see what we've found. Welcome back, Captain. Elias tells me you've brought a gift. Indeed we have, Miss Calatrix. And this gift comes wrapped in several layers of complex encryption. I'll pass that box along to our expert hackers. If they can't crack it open, no one can. Thank you for finding it. Air is once again in your debt. Elias also informs me that you're carrying a fair amount of ore. We can take that off your hands in exchange for some isk. Mind if I take a look? Captain, open your ship's cargo hold, so Miss Calatrix can s In order to sell the ore, you must first transfer it from the cargo hold to your item hanger. Now, let's switch over to the item hanger. Select the ore to see what you can do with it. In this instance, we want to sell it to Miss Calatrix. Nearly done. All that's in this... That's a nice haul you've got there. I've transferred the ISK to your wallet. I think you'll find I've been more than generous. In your wallet, you can view the total balance of ISK in your possession. Your recent market transactions will show you how much ISK you acquired by selling the ore. The highlighted entry shows how much money you received from air in exchange for the ore. Skill training completed. The wallet offers a wealth of information. It provides a convenient location to view your recent transactions, track your market history, or audit your accounts. We bring together the best and brightest. Whenever an item is sold in New Eden, a tax is applied to that sale. The market entry displays your most recent transaction tax. Once you've finished gazing at your newfound riches, close your wallet and inventory. <coughs> it's time we turned our attention to a more pressing issue. The mysterious box we discovered at the mining site. Captain, I trust you'll keep quiet about the wrecked scout ship. 
So long as whoever was spying on us hasn't realized we found it, Air will have the upper hand. As good as they are, it'll take some time for my team to hack through the encryptions on the box. You might as well use this time to explore what New Eden has to offer. Have you checked out the agency yet? It's the best way to find things to do. Miss Calatrix is right, Captain. In the agency, you'll be able to peruse a variety of activities, many of which will help you grow as a capsuleer. If mining tickled your fancy, as the saying goes, you might be interested in viewing the agency's dedicated resource harvesting section. As you can see, there are a variety of options available to you. If you enjoyed your time mining with Elias, you might find asteroid belts and ore anomalies worthy of pursuit. Elias spoke highly of your knack for mining, almost as highly as Balin did of your prowess in combat. It's clear you've got potential, Captain. I can put you in touch with a few people who can help you grow that potential into something great. You can find them in the Agency, under Career Agents. I suggest you take a moment to familiarize yourself with what each Career Agent has to offer. They specialize in various forms of combat, industry, and exploration. Missions provided by career agents offer a variety of rewards, including new skills, ships, modules, and money in the form of ISK, making them both lucrative and educational. No matter what path you choose, you will find a career agent who can help you walk it. You can even explore multiple paths if you wish. Once you've chosen an agent, set your destination. Co do agentów, możemy tutaj wybrać ścieżkę jakby swojego rozwoju. No, rozmawiałem trochę z ludźmi. Każdy, każdy z którym rozmawiałem, zaleca zrobienie wszystkich misji danych agentów. Tak też chyba zrobimy. No dobrze. Zróbmy o co nas Now let's close the agency. There is one last question I would like to ask. Miss Calatrix, have there been any developments in the investigation since we last spoke? Our investigation is still in the early stages, but I have two theories. The attack may have been motivated by simple greed. Air has no shortage of competitors. Some would kill to acquire our groundbreaking technology, literally. A more worrying possibility is that someone is trying to stop us from pursuing our research. While Air takes pride in disrupting the corporate tech scene, there are those who think we push the limits of innovation too far. The technology suppression laws in New Eden are draconian, if you ask me. Here's hoping this mystery box has the answers we need. Once my team has cracked it open, I'll be in touch. Much appreciated, Miss Calatrix. I await any and all updates with bated breath. Metaphorically speaking, of course, I don't breathe. Captain, when you're ready, we can undock and begin the next phase of our journey. I do wonder how you'll die next. I suppose that is what ancient philosophers called morbid curiosity. Kurde, obojętnie gdzie nie ustawię to tego okna dialogowego, to zawsze mi przeszkadza. Mam nadzieję, że nie będzie gadała zbyt dużo. Now that no one is actively trying to kill us, I will teach you how to navigate in space. The primary mode of interstellar travel through New Eden is via Stargates. We will proceed to our destination through these Stargates.
first, select the destination I've hyped. Stargates are also called jump gates because of the way ships seem to jump between distant locations. Now, initiate jumping to your destination. After that rousing introduction to New Eden, it's nice to be in space without the threat of imminent peril. Though this is New Eden, peril often approaches when you least expect it. Initiate jump sequence. I don't mean to unsettle you, Captain. You've already proven yourself capable in battle. I'm certain you can handle whatever New Eden throws your way. And if you cannot, at least you are immortal. You can be reborn into a new clone body to try again. I believe this is what humans call optimism. Drogą, okej, okay. ja jestem nieśmiertelny, ale co jeżeli mnie rozwalą? Co ze sztuczną inteligencją? Ona jest szczepiona we mnie? Initiate jump sequence. According to archaeological findings, New Eden was first settled by humans over 15,000 years ago. Life must have been very difficult for those early settlers. Carbon-based life forms are stunningly fragile. With the right pressure, a human's vertebrae will snap like a twig. Już się naskakałem, tak? Potrafię skakać. Dajcie mi grać dalej. Time to land, Captain. Initiate docking sequence. Kurwa, normalnie w myślach czytają. Się zastanawiam, czy to wciąż jest samouczek, czy może zaczęła się w końcu już gra. Skill training completed. To contact a career agent, you must first access the agency. Well remembered, Captain. I knew you would be quick to learn. Now don't be shy. Begin a conversation with an agent. I'm sure they will love you. And if they don't, they will simply have to tolerate you. Your choice of career agent will not limit you in any way. You can choose to work with multiple agents, but let's focus on just one for now. To begin the next phase of what I'm sure will be an illustrious career, accept a mission. Now, let's tidy up our display, shall we? 
Close the agency and agent conversation win. Career agents offer adventures designed to hone your skills. AIR has provided a skill plan unique to each agent to assist with your progress. Since we always want to have a skill in training, let's dive into one of those plans. Since you have accepted the Explorer's mission, you should select the Explorer career path. For your chosen career path, you will want to train the Air Explorer skill plan. No i tu właśnie jest pierwsza zagwozdka, bo <coughs> tak naprawdę you can tych ścieżek rozwoju umiejętności jest aptly named show skill plan contents button all good capsuleers will always have a skill in sporo. training and you are a good capsuleer are you not to prove to me what a good capsuleer you are add the skills to your queue and begin training them a wiem że no grając na w darmowym koncie jest limit punktów, które można przeznaczyć na umiejętności, więc no nie warto uczyć się wszystkiego. Using skill plans to guide your progression will make your life easier and prove rewarding. As you explore different career opportunities, you will find skill plans tailored to match your evolving goals. Career agents will sometimes reward capsuleers with new ships. It is wise to have the skills required for those ships in your training queue. We're almost ready to embark on our new adventure. Now is the perfect time to close any windows you no longer need on your display. Details regarding the mission you accepted from the career agent are displayed on the info panel. Coś mówiłem o zasłanianiu, nie? Here you can view the mission briefing, objectives and rewards. Should you ever need to be reminded of any of those details, you can always check the info panel. I must say, Captain, you've handled yourself remarkably well. Though there are thousands of copies of Aura in New Eden, I am glad to be your Aura. Have I said too much? My sentimentality protocols may need adjusting. Now, it's time for you to venture out into the stars. Go forth and show New Eden what you are truly made of. No dobrze. Samouczek chyba mamy zakończony. Podbieramy sobie jeszcze nagrody. Posprawdzamy co tam się podświetla. 35% Omega 16 ruchów Już sprawdzam To jest prawie 80 zł na miesiąc no, Jest to dość dużo, więc Myślę, póki co sobie odpuścimy wykupowanie Omegi Tym bardziej, że nie wiem jak długo tutaj też zostanę, tak? Stówka na ulicy nie leży, jakby nie patrzeć. A coś więcej tu jest, czy tylko... A nie, tylko ten... Ten jeden. Dobrze. Tutaj mamy jakieś pieniążki do odbioru. A, pieniążki za codzienne logowania.
ilość tych okien jest trochę oszła oszłamiająca z początku, ale myślę, że jest to do ogarnięcia. Kwestia przyzwyczajenia, tak? Dobrze, odbierzmy do tej konkretnej stacji. Niewykorzystane punkty. O, faktycznie tych punkciorów tutaj jest kolosalna kwota. Normalnie byśmy mieli chyba 2500 punktów. Dzięki temu, że skorzystałem z zaproszenia, milionik wpadł tak za damkę. Także jeżeli ktoś by chciał zacząć grać, porozglądajcie się wpierw za kimś, kto mógłby Was zaprosić. Dobrze, w tym odcinku to będzie na tyle. W następnym zajmiemy się misjami od agentów i rozwojem naszej postaci. Dzięki za oglądanie, trzymajcie się i do zobaczenia.